Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Marvel Legends series from the Age of Apocalypse, Colossus Build-A-Figure Wave. We got Rogue, and it comes in that typical Marvel Legends style packaging with some amazing artwork. But let's go ahead and bust Rogue out of the package and see what she brings to the table. Rogue out of the package comes with a open palm jazz hand and a little like crabby I'm gonna touch you type of hands. We also get a pair of fist hands with Rogue and I'm glad they included that because it wouldn't really be Rogue without some fist hands to beat down the enemy and uh, that's all we get. We get a Build-A-Figure piece and a pair of fist hands with this figure. No effect piece, no alternate head, nothing. This is what you get for, I think at the time they might have been 20 or $22 um, if you got them right when they dropped. So where where's our money going? Where is it going? Like this is ridiculous. An up close look at the figure and Rogue definitely has that resting bitch face on because it looks like with like the bangs and stuff and how she's sort of <laughs> designed. It just looks like she just woke up and uh, the eyes are painted well. The lips are painted well. The hair looks pretty cool. It's got the white sort of grayish hair and then the brown hair there's no wash to it sculpted pretty nice and then what in the world what is going on look at this area i'm using a little pointing tool to make it a little bit easier but look at the gappage that does not look good i understand they use two pieces of plastic so you better be keeping your rogue in certain poses because that that just looks nasty that looks nasty again they got the brown hair plastic and all that stuff but cabbage on this side is not nearly as like that's crazy yeah it's just it's weird it's weird but head sculpt i mean it looks like rogue from age of apocalypse so that's definitely there uh she's got the little collar move her hair out of the way collar is actually a separate piece that's sort of floating i didn't even realize it until now all the rivets painted she got a port in the back of her freaking body but nothing to plug in there no cape nothing what was that for hasbro what was it for why would you put a hole in the back of my figure did you give us a flight stand for no you did not you just gave us a big ass hole in the back of the figure crazy um we got the wrinkle in the arms looking good overall i mean the paint on this figure is pretty good like the transitioning throughout the arm and oh speaking of the arms speaking look at this Look at this crazy, nasty mess. This right here looks like utter shit. This is like, you could slide that down. I don't care if we, we slide it down. Let's slide it, slide it down a little bit more. A little bit more. Let's see if we can make it look good. But you look at that. You can still see the green. It's just, it's just a horrible design. Horrible design. And then like... Speaking of the horrible design, look at this little, like, rat claw of a hand. What the hell's going on? Look at the weird tips and bent fingers, and it, it's it's an ugly hand. It's ugly. It's ugly. It's ugly. This area is ugly. Like, I could deal with the hair more so than I could deal with that nasty part. <laughs> um... She got the paint and stuff like that. All right, so this is something I noticed too. So if you line up her paint on her thighs, right? Let's get her arms sort of out of the way. So you can see how it lines up. Looks proper, but look at how her feet and stuff are. There's no boot cut in there. So look how her knee angles and everything because I lined up the paint. So she, her feet angle in. Like, she definitely needs some orthopedic boots. That's why we got these moon boots going on. And they look good. Like, the color, the paint, everything looks really nice on this figure. It's just some of the, like, what what is that? So, if I want her to sort of be standing straight, let's get her. I got to move this, and it breaks the sculpt. It's, it's. It's crazy. Let's go ahead and dive into some articulation with Rogue. So her head is on that disc ball joint. So with her hair, it can go down that far. She can look up crazy, crazy well. And that's because dun, 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 that ball peg is barely inside the head and crazy, 
crazy lollipop syndrome. She must be best friends with the Age of Apocalypse Wolverine with that neck joint. Like, that's crazy. That's so nasty. So you're pretty much going to keep her head down. She can get some attitude in there. She can do full 360. Arms, T-pose. Not bad. Single jointed elbows, because they're scared to give female characters double jointed elbows. But pivots, gives you that 90 degrees. Wrist rotation and these tiny little weird mouse hands can bend. So not too bad. We get that typical hula hoop up top. Nothing down here. Uh, thigh cuts. Double jointed knees. She can kick up and do a field goal. Double jointed knees are pretty nice. No boot cut. They could have separated this. They could have made that a uh, boot cut so easily. So easily. Uh, ankle bend and pivot going on in the ankle. And that's something with these boots. They're so big and moon booty. She's going to be able to stand to do some poses uh, with these boots. Rogue's balance game is on point because of those moon boot feet. And if you're going to give me derpy hands, I'm going to give you a derpy pose. We got the Naruto run with their arms going back. And she's just balancing up. Well, she was. So in the end, this Rogue looks great. Will be a great addition to your Age of Apocalypse shelf. Looks like Rogue straight out of the comic. But the lack of accessories is not acceptable. Especially for the price points and the freaking wrists. I can deal with the two-part hair. I can even deal with the lollipop syndrome because we've all been dealing with the lollipop syndrome on a lot of these figures for years because we don't say anything. We just accept it, and that's why the company won't change. They'll keep doing it. So we got these lollipop heads that we've been dealing with for years, but the wrist, like how they're designed and the, the crappy-looking hands, it's just not acceptable to me. I just feel like they're just slapping this dollar amount on these figures, and if you're pre-ordering them excited and then you end up paying that top dollar, the whole Age of Apocalypse series, the first wave, second wave, have all clearanced out. They're definitely not putting their money into these figures as much as they should, especially with such a strong story. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of the Age of Apocalypse series. And, and some people are, some people aren't. You know, everybody is different. But you should at least give your your figures some accessories. Uh, extra, Like, get, give us, the consumer our money's worth because this is a 20 to 22 dollar figure at the time if you got a clearance you know hats off to you but the point is we're just not getting our money's worth when it comes to a lot of these hasbro figures that are being released but that sums up my unboxing and review of marvel legends series age of apocalypse rogue and this is from the colossus build a figure wave if you guys are enjoying my content hit that like button new to my channel hit that subscribe button because it helps the channel evolve and grow make sure you guys hit the silver bell notification if you want to know when i post up a new video check out toyco toys and collectibles their website's down below it's going to be opening up anytime now and also check out the facebook pre-order group for toyco it is the place to be when you're into collecting especially a lot of the third party international type of uh collectibles like your storm collectibles thousand toys figma sh figure arts you guys got to check out toyco links are down below and i want you guys to most importantly have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day